dear friends when i was visiting faculty at number of places a question was always asked one how to detect current leakage in substation station battery what are the bad effects if not detected and removed answer to second question is battery will drain fast and protection system to isolate faulty section equipment will not work leading to electrical fires equipment failure and accident answer to first question is first we will understand the battery circuit a battery station battery is charged by charger and b supply of battery with two independent single core goes to the dc db means the dc receiver board and simultaneously with two single core cables dc supply goes to dc distribution board means distribution board has got two dc supply sources one from battery and second uh, from charger and the battery is always on float and then from dc db with two core cable required circuits are drawn and those cables go to the control panels and from control panel a multi core control cable goes from each panel to each machine box in the switchyard and from switchyard to the breakers and other wherever dc supply is required this is a general arrangement keeping his arrangement in view the answer to first question is to detect this current this current leakage center point of battery is efficiently earth not efficiently it is only earth that efficient word is wrong and positive word is also wrong what is correct to detect this current leakage to detect this leakage current point at center point of battery is earth this shall be maintained in good condition second the battery current leakage generally is in switchyard at gland entry of cable in marcelin boxes where chances of insulating cutting is most possible also at terminal block due to bad joints these leakages are mostly in rainy season due to moisture entry in terminal boxes marcelin boxes or water leakage on the panel and uh, during detecting this leakage there should not be interruption in dc supply of more than 1 minute secondly if the leakage is more than 100 milliampere or so it shall be attended on priority how to how to detect first 
the faulty circuit of DC out going with DC DB is to be detected. This is detected by first make and break contact of fuse leak of each circuit. If in momentary break the leakage current goes out, then that circuit is faulty. This is the practice applied till we find out the required leakage point. After identifying the circuit in that circuit fault spot is to be recruited by viewer observation. It is clear that this is a very rigorous lengthy procedure and as per my information of 22012 this was a practice in general, but in that year some purchases of DC current detector is reported by somebody to me of which I have got no experience. And if that instrument is useful, that shall be used, and wherever that instrument is not available, this is the only procedure. I think I have tried the point very clear. In case there is a doubt, that reference can be made or other experts can comment on this. In my typing, there are two mistakes. That is positive, that should not that should be deleted, and the solidly earth shall be detected. And as, as per the information gathered, it is understood that the battery earthing is resistance earthing to limit the uh, leakage current. This shall be confirmed by the experts. This is as per my knowledge. In case something is wrong, expert shall guide. Thank you. Myself, Ramdas Sandagre, Literacy Finish Me and National Safety Council member. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel for such useful technical videos. Thank you. Kindly subscribe. Adel.